Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to show you how to make a Pong game using Unity's bold visual scripting. So let's get started. Open Unity Hub, then select new project. In templates, select 2D URP. Give your project name and set its location. It will take some time to load Unity's inbuilt script. After it's done loading, you will see interface like this. You can close Unity Hub as we don't need it now. Unity's UI is flexible. You can change any tab's location. I am setting it according to my needs. First step is to set our game's aspect ratio to 16 raised to 9. In the main camera, set its background to black as I want to give a typical retro look. Now select assets folder. We are going to create sprites so right click create folder. Rename it to sprites open sprites folder. Right click 2D sprites square. We are going to use it for creating walls and players. Drag and drop the square sprite into hierarchy. Rename it to wall right as per your choice and also set its scale and position. Scale it on Y axis to fill its left side. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and rename it to wall right. Change its position to right. Save the scene as main. Duplicate it two more times for wall top and wall right. Change its position and skill. Now we will create our player 1, so drag and drop our square sprite on hierarchy and rename it to player 1. Set its scale and position according to your needs.
duplicate our player 1 and rename it to player 2. I should have added components before duplicating to save time. Well, click on the wall left and select add component. Choose box collider. We see its collision shape with green borders around the wall. Repeat the same for the other walls. Delete player 2. In our player 1, add component box collider. And also a rigid body 2D. We don't have to change any setting in rigid body 2D apart from the gravity scale. When we have gravity scale to 1, gravity physics is applied for our player. And when clicked on play button, our player falls down and collide with bottom wall. We don't need that. We want to set its position up and down using keyboard controls. So set its gravity scale to 0. This way our player won't fall down. Now duplicate player 1 and rename it to player 2. Set its position to the right side of the screen. After setting both the players, now add controls by going to Edit, Project Settings, Input Manager and select Vertical. Set its name to Player 1 Control and change Negative button to S and Positive button to W. We don't need an alternative buttons, so just clear its Alt buttons. Now right click on player 1 control and select duplicate array element to set our player 2's control. Rename it to player 2 control and set its negative button to down and positive button to up. Now in the assets folder create a new folder and rename it to scripts. Select our player and add component script machine. Click on new and go to scripts folder. Set our script name to player one control. Now click on edit graph, it will take some time to load script when loaded for the first time. Let's set it at the bottom right corner. So in the script graph we have two nodes, one is on start node and the other is on update node. On start executes only once when our scene is loaded for the first time. On update node executes for every frames per second of our game. Let's set its name. Now connect on update node with rigid body 2D. Set velocity as we are going to manually control our player's rigid body. Drag the X and Y axis node. Select create vector 2 so we get separate X and Y axis. Now we want to set its Y position based on our keyboard input. So right click, search for get axis raw and select that. Now set its axis name to player1 control as we have created a player1 control in the project settings.
connect it to the Y axis. Now click on play. As you can see, when I press W or S button on keyboard, player 1 moves by 1 unit. That's because our input is getting a value of minus 1, 0 and 1. So to increase our player speed, I will create a variable of type integer in our scene called player speed. I am creating it in scene because we want the same player speed to the other player also. Set its default value to 5. Now just drag and drop our player speed variable on the graph. Get the multiply node. Attach this to A and this to B and connects its output to Y axis. Now when we click on play, our keyboard's input value will get multiplied by the player speed. For the play to control, box select all the nodes, right click and select copy selection. Now click on play to from hierarchy. Add component, select script machine, new, in our scripts folder, name to play to control. Now in our play to script, delete the default nodes and just control V to paste the copied nodes. Just change the axis name to play to control, which is already created in project settings. And that's it. Save our scene. Now click on play. both the players are moving with a defined speed. In the next part we will create ball mechanics in our scene.